How's it going guys? My name is Dave Pulley. I'm a full-time eBay reseller. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how many items you should be listing to get sales on eBay. Let's get into it. All right guys, so before I get into the video, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up, comment, or consider subscribing if you guys learned anything. That would really help uh, my videos get out to more people so I can try to help as many people as possible. Uh, make more money on eBay or just get to that full-time income so they can leave their full-time job and do eBay full-time All right, guys. so there are three things you guys need to be checking uh, Before you get into buying items and figure out how many you're gonna list So the first thing is gonna be seeing how many items you can actually get um, Even if you try your hardest, right? So there are some people in certain areas of the country in the US that won't be able to get as much product as other people, right? So first you need to see in your vicinity how much product can you get per week per day or per month right um and see try to get as much as you can at first obviously everyone starts off somewhere some people get thousands of items a week some people get hundreds some people get tens you know so you need to figure out how many items you can get to see where you can go from there and then the second thing is figuring out how much money you actually would like to make when it comes to ebay and um the way you're gonna basically be able to do that is by first seeing how much product and what kind of product you get. If you can get, you know, 100 PS4s a week, it's gonna be different than the person that can get 100 T-shirts that go for $15 each, right? So first you have to see how much you can get of what you can get in your area because everywhere in the US is different. What I can get here, you're not gonna be able to get in Oregon or in New York or New Jersey or Florida. It's different everywhere. So you need to see what you could do in your area. Me personally, I like selling electronics, but if I could sell something else or if I couldn't get electronics, I'd go to something else, right? Um, you don't have to just niche yourself down uh, with what you want to do specifically. Niche yourself, niche yourself down with what you can get and then go from there. Me, I have the opportunity to get a lot of electronic, so that's what I stuck with. But I can also get a lot of clothes if I couldn't get electronic. So. You just have to figure out what you can get in your area, not everywhere. You can get electronics, not everywhere you can get clothing, that's good. So a lot of people get shoes somewhere. So figure out what you can get and then figure out what kind of product. And then from there you can get a nice little baseline of uh, what kind of money you can make. And then the third thing would be how much money you wanna make, you know? So from there you see, you start listing. It's not, you're not gonna be able to figure it out right off the bat. You're not gonna be able to make an eBay store tomorrow and then figure out within a week what you can get it might take a year to kind of see where you're at um you know when you're trying to go full time um and also you need to see i guess there's four things you need to see how much time you can actually put into ebay because ebay you don't get really a per hour pay it's really how much items can you get up every day um and then if it's 300 dollars worth of product you can put up every day you might sell like 80 dollars worth of that um if that if you have a decent sell through rate and then you, from there, you can kind of get a baseline of how much you can make. And it really all depends on how much money you want to make. If you're just doing it part-time, figure out how much money you would like to make. If you want to make an extra $50 a day, you don't have to list as much as the person that wants to make thousands of dollars a day, right? Uh, me personally, I'm trying to make like 800 to 1,000 a day. So I try to list like $5,000, $6,000 worth of product every day or every other day around there, right? So um, it, there's people that try to make tens of thousands a day they're gonna list way more than the person trying to make $50 a day right so see what kind of product you can get how much the product kind of goes for then list that kind of product for a while so you get more sourcing routes and also figure out how much money you want to make and how much time you want to put in all that matters me personally I don't want to be putting too much time so I have a, a worker right now that helps me list and that takes a lot of the load off on top of everything that, that happens it costs me a little bit of money, but also saves me a lot of time. If I really wanted to grow, I'd have to put more effort myself, more effort for my worker, and probably get another person to make more money. And uh, basically, once you get your processes down to see where you're at, at that point, where I'm at now, all it is is multiplication. If I wanted to make more money, I buy more product, put more work in, and that will equal out to more money, right? But I don't know if I want to put more effort because it is a lot of stress. Not everyone wants to be making millions of dollars a month on eBay. Um, and not everyone just wants to make $1,000 a week. There's Everyone has a different goal when it comes to eBay. You just have to figure out what you wanna do, right? If you're just doing a part-time, if you wanna make an extra 500 a week, figure out how much product you need to get to get there. Everyone has a different goal. Don't look at me and think that you're not doing good 
because you see what I got going on. What I got going on has nothing to do with no one else. And when I see other people, I try to not get discouraged, you know? Cause like right now my buddy Colin, um, he's making like 70,000 a month on eBay and he's really into it. And I don't know if I want to do that. Obviously I want to do that. I want to make that money, but I don't know if I want to work that hard um, and sacrifice a lot. He doesn't need sacrifice a lot. He's just, uh, he's in a different frequency, right? And he has those goals and he wants to keep going up. Me, I, want, I like being at the 25, really chill, working a little bit. And there's other people that I know personally that are making five, 6,000 a month that are really happy too. And as long as you're all happy and then you figure out how much you wanna make and how much you're comfortable with making so you can pay all your bills, put some money to the side, still pay your taxes and still live a good life, that's what really actually matters. So just figure out what you can get, how much you wanna make, how much time you want to actually put in because if you want to make more it's going to take more time it's not ebay is not some fairy tale thing where you just put stuff and you just start making money it's it's work and uh you just have to figure out all that before you get into it and to realize how much items you have to list um so hopefully i didn't ramble off too much with the title and stuff but i had that idea for this video right now and uh hopefully it helps some people out um i'm starting to post a lot more on youtube and uh you know, hopefully it doesn't go unnoticed. I know we have, we're like at 5,000, but I do, I do want to impact a lot more people. So like I said, if you guys could drop a like or a comment or anything, comment down below three tiger emojis. We're switching it up today for this video only. Three tiger emojis if you want to get better on eBay. Um, and yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to catch you guys later.